How to become a member of Delta Sigma Theta. You're probably familiar with the community efforts of your local Delta Sigma Theta DST chapter. This historically black but all-inclusive sorority was founded at Howard University in 1913. You can become a DST sister if you're still in college, university or if you have already graduated with a baccalaureate degree. To become a member, you'll need to be in good academic standing, attend an informational meeting, and fill out the application. Once the chapter receives all your application materials, they'll vote on whether or not to accept you. You'll need to get a majority of votes in order to become a member of DST. Fulfilling basic application requirements. Earn credits at an approved college or university. You're eligible to become a collegiate member of DST if you're currently studying for your first baccalaureate bachelor's degree at a school that's recognized by the U.S. Department of Education or Council for Higher Education Accreditation. You should already have 24 semester hours or 36 quarter hours. Most universities or colleges are already approved. If you're unsure if your school is, contact your school's academic department. Complete a baccalaureate bachelor's degree. You're eligible to become an alumni member if you're a woman who's completed a baccalaureate degree from a college or university. The school you attended must be accredited by the U.S. Department of Education or the Council for Higher Education Accreditation. You must have earned a minimum cumulative GPA of 2.75 on a 4-point scale or 1.75 on a 3-point scale. Improve your grade point average. DST will check to see that you're in good standing at your university or college. Your minimum cumulative grade point average GPA must be at least 2.75 on a 4-point scale or 1.75 on a 3-point scale, although you should try to have a higher GPA to make your application more competitive. Check with your school's DST chapter about their required GPA. Some chapters require a higher GPA. Fill out the application. Fill out all portions for the collegiate applicant. The application will ask for personal and educational details like your address, school you're attending, contact information, and employment information. Be aware that you'll need to type rather than write in your responses. You'll need to describe your involvement in school, church and community organizations. You'll also need to explain why you want to join DST. Provide proof of residency. Along with your application, you'll need to attach proof of residence. You could send a copy of your driver's license, a voter registration card, a state or college, university identification card, or a recent utility bill that shows your address. If you're applying for alumni membership, you must live in the community or area that's served by the chapter you're applying to. To locate your local chapter, search for chapters within your region and state. Be aware that some chapters are specifically for alumni. 4. Pay application fees. Your local chapter will give you information about how much the application costs to process. Once you're a member, you'll be expected to pay around $400 or $500 in national initiation fees and around $250 in chapter initiation fees. Be prepared to pay for the following, which also vary in cost by chapter. National yearly fees. Capital fund fee. Chapter dues. 